Thank you, Chair. Um, I, I think I'm starting to get the hang of this place. Um, the, the EU says it's a global climate leader, but has just announced it's going to spend 50% more on private jets for its top bureaucrats. The EU says more needs to be done in Iran, but it failed to facilitate its own Iran delegation. The EU says it's not responsible for a no-deal Brexit, but the resolution many of you here today voted for last week in Strasbourg, insisting on the Irish backstop, makes no deal almost inevitable. And now the EU wants to use more members' funds, including the UK's, to allow payouts if there's no deal. No wonder the European Globalisation Fund has many critics. It is unfair and unjust. It's targeted at larger organisations, but hopeless for small companies, entrepreneurs and the self-employed, which make up 90% of European business. It's highly inefficient. Uh, it's impossible to assess whether workers who received assistance from this fund did better in their job search than those who did not. Many member states have repeatedly voted against this fund, claiming it's poor value for money and, not a, gen and a genuine case has not been made for investment at an EU, EU level rather than a national level. I would contend that this fund was originally set up to provide support in response to globalisation and major global economic changes. I don't believe its creators thought those changes would be self-inflicted by the EU. I don't believe that Brexit for one second compares to, to events like the 2008 financial crash. This is another case of mission creep by the EU, this time using member funds to prop up a crisis of its own making.